Masterpieces are outstanding creations worthy of a place in history. They are the works of art we can't stop thinking and talking about. Art's meant to make a difference. These are pieces that continue to do so long after the artist is gone. I'm Lady K Flo. This is where I give you my quick takes on art pieces I call the masters. Lorenzo Lotto, Lady with a Drawing of Lucretia. The Lorenzo Lotto painting's more than a portrait. It revels in story. This bold lady in an ornate dress calls back to the tale of Lucretia. In Livy's History of Rome, Lucretia was raped. She then killed herself as a statement that she was not responsible for the shame this act had brought upon her. We see the direct strength of this act in the face of Lotto's woman here. She's got nothing to be ashamed of, and she knows it. Many art historians believe Lorenzo Lotto painted a different Lucretia here as well. Namesake of the Latin Lucretia, this one was an Italian noblewoman. We can tell this from her elegant, puffy-sleeved dress. She's got the goods with a golden chain draped at the breast. But this lady doesn't want us to focus on these fancy bits. Lotto has fixed her gaze upon us. She seems to demand we meet her eyes. With this focal point and the humble bouquet of tiny flowers, he signals chastity. The woman is an innocent. Spoiled by neither her namesake or riches, she's bold and true. Still, a woman trapped. But boldness doesn't set us free from our boundaries. Lucretia reminds us of this too. She's stiff in posture. Even her outstretched arm juts in a rigid point to the sad inscription about her namesake. That's the piece of paper with writing on it that's beside her, and it has Lucretia, the Latin woman's name on it. The background Lotto painted also shows her penned into a tiny space. She's crammed between an unyielding wooden chair and the table. There's no luxury in the setting here only in herself. This noble Lucretia seems certain. At the same time, she's bound by her surroundings. This refers back to the Latin Lucretia. She too was strong in herself. It was all she had, this certainty. Virtue mattered more than all else at that time. Unfortunately, so did the judgments of others, right or not. The Lucretia of yore found herself trapped in a prison of public opinion. So captive, in fact, that Lucretia believed her only way out was death. We know the Lucretia of this painting will leave her tight enclosure. This momentary prison is only temporary. But what of the true trap in her life? She relates to this former Lucretia, so this woman, too, lies subject to public opinion. Her noble woman status means many expectations. She must impress. The elaborate dress isn't enough, after all. Jewelry and a ruffled halo adorn her as well. Lotto gives us hope with this Lucretia, though. He composed her with a resolute expression and stern glare. It shows she's determined to overcome gossip and slander. This Lucretia will live strong and true to herself. This is Lady with a Drawing of Lucretia, an Italian Renaissance painting by Lorenzo Lotto. 
It portrays a woman, Lucretia, with fancy embellished clothing and a very trapped, narrow space that she's stuck inside, but with a very proud, courageous, bold expression on her face. She's also pointing to a drawing of a woman named Lucretia and an inscription about the story of Lucretia, a woman who was raped and chose to kill herself rather than live with the shame of that rape, which women at the time were forced to do. They were forced to bear the shame. This Lucretia, with her bold expression, I think shows that boldness and that choice to live an open, unashamed life. Lorenzo Lotto, Factoids. Lorenzo Lotto, 1480 to 1556, was a painter of the 1500s. Born in Venice, he also studied in the Venetian school. Lotto did only portraits and religious paintings, nothing else. In fact, his most famous work, Politic of Saint Domenico, is a glorious religious devotional. Though he started out in Venice, Lotto soon left for easier Italian cities. Only after he established himself as an artist did he return to Venice. The art world was quite competitive there. Even as an established talent, Lotto always struggled financially. Art historian Bernard Berenson reinvigorated interest in Lotto in the late 1800s. Masterpieces are written and recorded by Lady K-Flow. If you like this podcast and want to hear more like it, the greatest compliment you can give is to tell a friend. And subscribe to Lady K-Flow on Apple, Google, Stitcher, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Thanks. Visit LadyKFlo.com for all the goods. That's L-A-D-Y-K-F-L-O dot com.